Well, we've come to the New South Wales Parliament to uh, talk with ministers, which we've been doing during the week, but also highlighting to the broader uh, supporters of the Maloon Institute and other interested people, the need for some change to be made uh, within some of the water and planning legislation to enable this incredible environmental repair work to be done much more easily. What they're trying to do is to make the approval process easier so that um, the approval process is not a hurdle for landowners to go and commence landscape rehydration works. At the moment, the approvals that a landowner has to receive from governments and councils is so onerous that they're not conducting these works. So it's to assist them so that it's no longer a hurdle or less of, less of a hurdle. This is a very significant milestone. We're really excited. The progress that we've made this week uh, just seems to make anything possible. Well, we've actually drafted some proposed amendments. So uh, we've given that to uh, the ministers who are keen to pass that on to their departments and, uh, and look at it. I mean, legislation and regulations are a, a complex matter and we recognise that. And that's why you know, we've worked hard through our Maloon Law Committee uh, to put forward what we believe are very workable solutions uh, to this. You know, we want to slow the water, but we don't want to slow the process. We have proposed a solution whereby if the leaky weir and the works fits within a framework that the government has already specified and agreed to, then the property owner can just go out there and build it. If we get the government on board, and not only to pass the legislation, but to produce a user-friendly guide for landowners, then hopefully it'll be significantly easier. I think for the Institute, uh, it would really enable us to pursue our goal of 100 projects with great confidence and the MCLRP, the Maloon Catchment Project itself, would become a model to be scaled up and rolled out across the nation.